North Korea has conducted its first nuclear counter-attack drill, and South Korea believes the latest drill seeks more than simply a show of strength. Our defense correspondent Choi Min Jong explains. North Korea has revealed its staged tactical drills simulating a nuclear counterattack using super large multiple rocket launchers for the very first time. The training, guided by the regime's leader Kim Jong un on Monday, was focused on strengthening the regime's nuclear counteroffensive using 600 millimeter multiple rocket launchers. The North state run newspaper Dodong Shimun reported Tuesday morning that Kim was satisfied with the rocket's accuracy. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff detected the launch of multiple KN-25 ballistic missiles at around 3 p.m. Monday, launched toward the East Sea from the Pyongyang area. The North said the drills were conducted to send a clear warning to its enemies, as it denounced Seoul and Washington's recent joint air drills for raising tensions. But South Korea's military has said that there is another motive behind the launch, promoting exports to Russia. We believe there is a complex purpose, like demonstrating the performance of the super-large multiple rocket launchers for exports. According to the regime, the rockets hit its island target at a range of 352 kilometers. This is approximately equal to the distance from Pyongyang to South Korea's Kedongde military headquarters. The South Korean military stressed that it has a system in place to detect and intercept ballistic missiles if they were to fly toward the south. International security cooperation including terminal cooperation between South Korea, the U.S., and Japan, will be further strengthened. If North Korea attempts to use nuclear weapons, it will face an immediate, overwhelming, and decisive response from the ROC U.S. alliance, and the regime will come to an end. South Korea and the U.S. both strongly condemned the launch. The U.S. State Department hinted that the issue will be addressed during Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit to China this week. Choi Min-jong, Arirang News.